Hey guys, it's Dan with the Corporate Deep Beats. If you're checking out my YouTube channel here, I'm doing a mini series on a tool that improves my workload with YouTube. Now this tool is called TubeBuddy and I've made specific videos for specific features on TubeBuddy and how you can use them to improve your marketing on YouTube. And TubeBuddy is a Google Chrome extension. You install it on your Google Chrome. I'm not gonna install it because I've already had it done, but this is what you do. You just come, there's gonna be a link in the description of this video anyway, for you guys to get it. It's free to use, but obviously there's limitations with the free version, uh, but it's a well worth tool to pay for as well because I use it and it just saves me a bunch of time by using this tool. Uh, so you just just to test it out and install it anyway and see if it improves your marketing with YouTube. Basically what it does is it adds certain buttons over YouTube so that um, you can have um, better features to help you improve your marketing. Obviously you can see there straight away there's one there called the best time to publish. Just gives you an idea of the data on the videos that you have already and people can, that are, or when they're actually tuning into your videos, so you can schedule those videos at that specific time. Obviously, there's community, there's a lovely form on TubeBuddy there where you can pitch ideas or get ideas from anyone that's already on there. And uh, they also have their own videos up there and they have a podcast. And they have a cool little feature there that where it's community-based where people actually submit ideas to make TubeBuddy even better. And you can see that there's a bunch of different uh, features there already within TubeBuddy. Um, I'm going to talk about each one of these uh, individually because it's. Uh, I don't want to make each video too long. And I just want to make bite-sized chunks on how to use TubeBuddy. Uh, you can see that it pops uh, little buttons over your YouTube channel. I'll just show you this now in a second. Get into the background of my YouTube channel, and we can see that it's popped up some buttons there now. These are the buttons that I use uh, to help my marketing with YouTube. And you can see that it brings up any kind of videos that I've scheduled or are going to be scheduled. These are all manually scheduled within YouTube uh, to go out. And I just featured a couple of them there recently. But you can see that this is where the, the magic happens. This is where all the uh, video parts are there now. And you can see that I have already used it for certain features. I'm using it for posting it to Facebook. I've got a great video on that. And I also talk about cards and I talk about in, in screens, and suggested tags. The tags one is a bit of a long video and I'll leave that for another one that's in the next one. The vid to vid promotion is just using other videos uh, that you've already promoted on there. So you can pop a link on every video into from your new videos just to share. Share tracker is pretty simple, straightforward. This is already cut it in, in in YouTube already and it just gives you another way of doing it. Um, I'm not going to bother talking about that because it's a feature within YouTube anyway. Um, but uh, what you, the main thing I want you to take away from using YouTube, uh, TubeBuddy is that it's a huge time saver and you'll see that throughout the series uh, where I show you the individual tips on how to use it to improve your YouTube channel and help you bulk, do a lot of things in bulk and how to create thumbnails, stuff like that. Uh, but there is uh, one more feature I wanted to show you first. As you can see, I've already got a, a video um, already launched already here. Uh, you can see that it pops down this little menu here to give me kind of analytics about my video and where I'm going right and where I'm going wrong. Obviously, you can see my it's telling me that my title is too long and that's fair enough. I can go back in and I can edit that. It also tells me that people are really tuned into this video. It's got 7.6 engagement, uh, so that's really good because it's hard to keep people on YouTube or on your videos, no matter how much you try. Uh, but you can see that straight away that I'm getting good engagement. A lot of people are liking this, so uh, it's got 10 likes already, 400 views, and it just gives me an idea of what uh, analytics are behind the video. Uh, you can also see that it pops up these other tools there as well and it can see where my video is popular online as well. Also you can go to uh, the launch pad 
on TubeBuddy. So you can log into your own TubeBuddy and TubeBuddy gives you a bunch of different features here to help you actually look at the data and see where you're going right and wrong on your videos. So it gives you kind of a checklist. This actually pops up when you're actually uploading a video as well. So you can tick off different things uh, to promote your video. We'll just check this one, this checklist, uh, because this is the video that I was showing you a second ago. And we can see where I'm going right and where I'm going wrong. And it just tells me best practices. Title length is the main one that was the main issue. And you can see suggested tags. This is another kind of feature. I'll talk about tags specifically, but this is within TubeBuddy. This is in the actual background of TubeBuddy. And you can see that it's allowing me to add extra tags onto that video. I'm not going to go into a whole video talking about tags right now because it's it's a specific topic within uh, TubeBuddy. I just wanted to give you an overview on, in the background of what actually TubeBuddy is like. So, and second now. I've only got the star license for TubeBuddy, that's plenty for me. Uh, but the bulk features of TubeBuddy make it worth paying for them because if I had to do a lot of stuff manually, it would take too much time. Uh, you can obviously check uh, best practices. You can active monitoring, keyword tracking. You can find different keywords that you want to track. Uh, you can check uh, competitors. One second now. Uh, I don't really have competitors. Well, we can just take, take a look at any kind of other video. One of, one of my favorite channels is uh, called Pay Us No Mind. Uh, yeah, he's one of GIF from Pay Us No Mind. He's a really good YouTuber. Uh, I follow his YouTube channel a lot. Uh, he creates great videos about how to promote your music online, and I suggest you guys check him out. But uh, we're just going to use him as a guinea pig right now, his YouTube channel, to see how my channel compares to his. Uh, obviously, he's doing really well. Uh, so his channel look a bit better than mine, but we, it just gives you a kind of analytics of so how he's getting views. It get, it's basically a little bit of a spy tool behind the background. Uh, it shows you how much they're they're earning. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't always believe this. I think this is just an estimate, so I don't always believe this kind of stuff. Um, how much views he gets per month? He gets around ten thousand views per month. I get roughly around that to it's not that far away from that but he gets at, at an average of around five thousands per video and his subscriber count is going really good his channel he's putting in so much work but you can see that uh, it's not that i'm not putting in work <laughs> um i am keep going hard anyway but um he's doing really well and i'm really happy for him but it just gives you an idea of uh, uh of what channel tags he's using and uh, just gives you an idea of where you stand compared to someone that you think uh, is a competitor or if someone if it's a channel that you actually like and you kind of want to study their channel and it also gives you analytics of your own one you can change these down to views uh, you can change it to all time and you can see different statistics on different videos so it's really important to think about data uh, and and take a look at the data behind uh, behind your YouTube videos as well and you yeah, TubeBuddy really gives you that that kind of support with it. Uh, they also give you uh, areas to back up your and uh, export your channel data. So if you've got any kind of metadata within your your YouTube videos, you can download that. Uh, you can also go to like brand alerts. So anytime you have uh, mentions on 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 YouTube, you put in specific keywords to find. That uh, let's say if anyone is using your beats or anything like that, you can find uh, people on there. Uh, you can create scorecards. You can A/B a B test videos. Uh, it's up to you how much feet of these features you want. That's a nice one as well. It can, you can store comments for specific specific stuff. So if you're getting a lot of comments on your YouTube channel, you can write a bunch of them that are generic enough to kind of so you don't have to like thank you for watching my video similar comments that that kind of come up a lot that you don't want to be kind of you'd prefer to have a, just a quick answer to or if you find yourself answering the same question over and over again uh, this can be a good time saver as well maybe that would that kind of features for much bigger channels that kind of get a lot of questions and this is a great great tool like i said before as well definitely check out the tubebuddy uh, forum as well one second now i'm not sure how to get to it here 
And they have a great forum as well. One second, tips and tricks videos. I'm not sure. No, that's their YouTube channel where you can find out more on how to uh, general support. One second, they have a great, great. Uh, I just can't remember how to get to it now. One second, uh, see if they've got community forums. Yes, and this forum is great. So if you're really starting out on on TubeBuddy and you're just starting out on YouTube, this forum is excellent. Uh, there's tons of people in here talking about what they're doing now with YouTube, how they're promoting their videos. There's not everyone's an expert in here. So there's a lot of newbies here as well, and they kind of share their little tips as well, and they ask questions that might you might be afraid to ask. And um, it's just a great, great community to learn from other YouTubers and learn from people that have already uh, got success with their YouTube channel. So. Uh, there's more videos and specific tools within in the next series, so definitely check out the next couple of videos, guys, because I'm showing you specific uh, features like the the cards tool, the, the apply template, the bulk features, basically. Some of these are actually paid parts of it, uh, so uh, certain features will you have to be a paid member to do it, but it's totally worth it because if you were to do all these stuff manually, it would drive you insane. Um, obviously there's the published Facebook one, the social monitor, and uh, the two, the nice little one there where I show you how to make these nice little thumbnails as well. So this was just an overview of TubeBuddy and how I use it to promote my music and how I can get the data from TubeBuddy to promote my music and uh, definitely check out the next couple of videos in the series because they're really where the content kicks in and shows you how I maximize the amount of use that I get from TubeBuddy and why it's worth paying for. This is Dan with the Corporate Thief Beats. Check you out in the next video, guys. Take care. If this is your first time on my YouTube channel, we've got tons of videos on the channel and my website about music marketing. I offer some free stuff on my website's beats and artist resources. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button underneath the video. This is Dan from the Corporate Thief Beats. Thanks for checking it out, thanks.